Data is a new gold in this era of AI, but data is the bottleneck too. Even the best deep learning models cannot train fast if the data is slow to arrive and the models are constantly waiting for data to become available or pass through their pipelines. That's the data bottleneck. This primarily is due to the CPU pre-processing and memory transfer becomes the limiting factor here. That is where NVIDIA Rapids come into the picture. I think that NVIDIA Rapids is a must if you are dealing with huge volumes of data required not only for your model training, but for your rack pipelines or wherever you have to process or pre-process huge amount of data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get this NVIDIA Rapids installed on your local system and we will also see a real world example as how to use it. NVIDIA Rapids is not new at all. It was released around 2018 where NVIDIA launched it as part of its broader GPU accelerated data science initiative. But since then, just because it primarily enables you to use Panda or NumPy like structures on your GPU, it has really, really blown into popularity and rightly so. The development and evolution of Rapids is heavily influenced by the need for high performance data pipelines to feed machine learning and AI models as traditional CPU bound processing often became a bottleneck. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Now, I believe that even before I go into showing you the installation, it's very important to actually understand the whole ecosystem of this Rapids. There are several core libraries in Rapids, just as, as the case with other NVIDIA toolkits like uh, we have CUDA, we have Nemo, and even with Triton, there are multiple core libraries and components. So Rapid has something called as QDF, which is um, a synonym of pandas, but pandas run on CPU, whereas this Rapids run on GPU. And that is how you can um, manipulate your tabular data entirely in GPU memory, which is very, very fast. And I have used it in production. The processes which used to take hours on CPU by using pandas they just now take around minutes or even seconds on NVIDIA's GPUs depending upon how much VRAM you have and how much optimized your data pipeline is. Another core library is QML. QML is just inspired by scikit-learn, which is a machine learning library, a classical one, but if you are looking to implement algorithms for um, very classical machine learning tasks like regression, classification, clustering, dimensionality reduction, then I would suggest <clears throat> Q give QML a try because this is one of the fastest machine learning library you would have out there at the moment. If you have to deal with um, large scale graph computation, like you want to find shortest path, go with QGraph core library. For geospatial location based data, they have QSpatial and then for executing SQL queries on GPU data frames, they have blazing SQL. A lot of things are there. I'm not going to go into the detail, but again, in very simple words, if you want to pre-process manipulate data frames on your GPU, NVIDIA Rapids is the way to go. I'm going to use for this demo. Let me quickly show you my Ubuntu system. So this is my Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to first create a virtual environment with Conda. So let me quickly create it. And next up, let's install the Rapids. I'm just going to use my CUDA version and the compatible Rapids version here. And that is going to take a bit of a time. While that happens, let's talk a bit more around what exactly it means to have the data pipeline and how exactly this NVIDIA Rapids help. Look, the thing is that all of these data pipelines, they are very 
uh, I would say full of chain of steps that move raw data around. So it typically includes ingesting data, which means reading from files, databases or streams. And then comes the step of pre-processing where we need to do cleaning, filtering, joining, handling missing values. Then comes the step of feature engineering where we have to create numerical or categorical uh, features. And then we need to transform that data, which means normalization, encoding, and few other things and then we feed the model for training or inference with the machine learning frameworks in most of these steps especially when we need to pre-process or transform the data if we are using pandas it all happens on cpu or numpy or scikit-learn so even if the model is running on gpu which is a bottleneck and that is where this rapid helps out. So data stays in GPU memory, VRAM for loading, cleaning, transformation, and model input. And then all the operations of filtering, joining, group by encoding, scaling, they run on thousands of parallel GPU threads. And that is how you remove the bottleneck. And that is the whole idea behind it. And the rapid is installed. Everything is okay now. And if you want to verify, simply launch Python interpreter and run this command to get the versions of all the core libraries of Rapids. Some of them, of course, like UDF, QML and QGraph. And you can see that everything looks good. As everything is installed, let me first show you a quick Hello World example. So the script in front of you, it imports all the libraries which we have installed. And then it is loading a tabular data into GPU memory via QDF, which is a core library of Rapids. As you can see here, I just gave it some dummy data in different lists. It creates a transformed feature, which is log AMT here. And once that's done, it applies one hot encoding to the cat column. Once that's done, after that it splits the data into train test datasets on GPU using QMLs, train test split, trains a GPU based random forest classifier, which is random forest classifier. And once that's done, it predicts on the test set and computes accuracy. So if I go here and run this, it is going to give us the GPU accuracy. There you go. So it says it is a uh, model made 100% correct prediction on the test set for this data set or in other words, it perfectly classified all test samples and you saw that how much quick that was. Now, let me show you another example, but with more realistic one. Now, this is a realistic script, which is trying to detect fraudulent credit card transactions with the help of Rapids and it will be using GPU accelerated machine learning. So what it is doing that I have just uh, created this function which generates 50,000 synthetic transactions with realistic pattern around 5% fraud rate where fraudulent transactions have distinct characteristics like higher amounts, unusual times um, and greater distances from home. And the code then creates 13 features through engineering like log transforms, time-based features, one hot-coded merchant types, and then it scales it, trains a random for its classifier on a GPU in just a few seconds, even less than a second. So this is what it this code is doing. Let me go back and then what I'm going to do, I am just going to not only run the script, we will also check the VRAM consumption as how it goes i'll just start the my nv talk and then let's run this and go here did you see not even a blip on gpu it's so so fast i mean not even a blip so this is where it has generated fifty thousand transactions on gpu and we didn't even notice and then this is a fraud rate these are the total feature and all that stuff so which is not the point the point is that if you are doing this sort of scaled transaction analysis or any data transformation data ingestion data manipulation for your ai ml pipelines 
nvidia rapids is one optimized option if you are already using it please let me know your experience in the comments or if you are using anything else also very keen to know about it that's it please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support